Welcome to Amateur Decorating Like a Pro. I'm Catherine. Guys, these eyeglass sculptures or spectacles are really, really hot right now. I've seen several of them priced as high as $85 and as low as $30. They come in all kinds of metals, bronze, cast iron, and even copper. There they are on top of this book on the bench at the bottom of this bed. Now, I have two techniques that I have used to make them and it's around $6.00. So I think that I can share my Play-Doh technique as well as my air dry clay technique with you and I think you'll be able to take this on. Now here are some supplies that you'll be able to pick up from the Dollar Tree. Some reader glasses or sunglasses. I suggest that you use the ones that have the wide lenses. And guys, you might have a Fred Sanford drawer full of old glasses and it's time to purge. The other items you'll find at the Dollar Tree are Mod Podge or Elmer's Glue, and some of them have actual paint brushes for crafts. Okay, start by removing the lenses and remove any tags or labels that are attached to your frames. Let me stress this, any wide frame will do. Now, first of all, this isn't pictured, but use the adhesive, the glue or Mod Podge, whatever you're using, to glue the arms of the glasses in the position that you want them to be in. So it's just lightly brush it on. So this is how it works. You apply Mod Podge, then you apply Play-Doh. You apply more Mod Podge to the next area and then more Play-Doh. Now you can apply a thin layer of Play-Doh or a thick layer of Play-Doh. That's up to you. Now this is my first eyeglass DIY. So I am actually using a small amount of the Play-Doh. It looks as if it's going to be about maybe three eighths of an inch. That's what I am appearing to do here. So I didn't want you guys to be confused about the thickness of the Play-Doh. Now, if you recall from some of the pictures that I shared earlier, these sculptures are not smooth. They look as if they have been hammered. Now, I do get emails from teachers about projects for their kids, and I think this is a kid-friendly project, depending on what grade you're in. But I think this is really something fun to do, to have them bring in a pair of old glasses that belong to their parents, and then have them do this project. So it is best to add your Mod Podge as you go, you know, a little bit at a time, and then add your Play-Doh. And just remember, you want to cover the frame with Play-Doh, but if you don't get every single area and some of the frame maybe shows through a little, don't worry about it. This is going to be painted, and this is not intended to be a very smooth surface. It's supposed to look textured carved or even sculpted. I think you get the picture now. So by now you should be doing the math. You've got $1 glasses, a $1 container of Play-Doh. You've probably got a $1 container of the Mod Podge and you picked up the paintbrushes too. That's $4. And if you run across some cheap acrylic paint, whether it is Walmart or Hobby Lobby, those are around about, what, $2? And then you get the 40% off coupon. Yep, you are knocking at about $6. That's how it's done. I am a dreamer, and I would love to have everyone watching this video share it with an elementary school teacher and or middle school teacher to get the kids involved in using their hands to create something. I'm going to attach a poll to this video. So you can tell me if you would recommend the Play-Doh project or the clay project to your kid's teacher. Let me know and also leave me a comment. And I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. Thank you. Now, it only took about half of the cup of the Play-Doh to do this pair of glasses. And once it dried, which I did allow it to dry overnight, it cracked. Don't panic. That's what it does. 
Now your glue or your Mod Podge can sometimes aid in the cracking process, but Play-Doh, well, yeah, it cracks anyway. All you want to do is take a little bit more of your Play-Doh and just push it in those cracks. Now, even though your piece may appear to be dry, just be gentle when you're pushing that Play-Doh into those cracks. Just be very, very gentle. My craft room tends to get very warm when I'm not in here for a couple of days. So leaving it up here for 24 hours or 48 hours was really a good idea. So consider that. Consider your location where it's going to be because that will expedite or slow down the drying process. And it is recommended that you do allow at least 24 to 48 hours. So I would say go for the max and that way you are sure to have a great project and i also know that you can put play-doh projects in the oven for like 200 degrees for like 30 minutes to expedite the hardening process i will say this well considering that there are actually glasses underneath this play-doh i would not recommend that you put this project in the oven after you have filled your cracks, immediately paint the entire thing with your Mod Podge or your glue. You can do several coats if you want. This final coat of Mod Podge simply seals the deal. Two hours later, all dry. Now I'm going to review painting techniques a little bit later, but now I want to talk about using the air dry clay to do the exact same project. There are some similarities in the steps, but the textures are just a little bit different. And I gotta admit, I do love the texture of the air dry clay. Now, originally I had applied Play-Doh to this pair of glasses, but I was so curious to see how the clay would work out. I removed the Play-Doh and then I applied a little bit of the Mod Podge, just like I did before, and then started to apply the clay. These are actually sunglasses, so they are much larger than the other glasses that I used with the Play-Doh. Now, art projects like this are so soothing and relaxing, and I think anyone would enjoy this. And again, another kid-friendly project, only this time you're working with clay. And this is not clay that you have to put into a keel to dry. It's air dry, so it's not a huge mess or a prolonged period or even exposing someone to high heat temperatures. So I love this project. And this container of air dry clay came from Hobby Lobby. And I want to say it's about $3.99 and then you get 40% off of that. So another huge bargain. I'll verify that price. It is $5.99, guys, and I have the coupon 40% off. That made it about $3.60 for this container. So looking at how much clay I'm using here, guys, I would venture to say if you're doing this in a classroom environment, you could probably get about 10 pair of glasses sculpted using this technique from one container. And that's the minimum. And I'm pretty sure you might be able to stretch that given the size of the glasses that you're using for your project. Now I would venture to say that the clay is about a fourth of an inch thick throughout. And I'm rolling it about the size of my pinky finger before I place it onto the glasses. And this is the first application of clay. Remember like before, you may see cracks and so you'll have to fill in those cracks with additional clay and Mod Podge. So you'll gain some additional thickness there.
Now this air dry clay started to really get hard in no time at all. So I seized an opportunity to kind of sculpt it a little bit more, give it more of a hammered look, just using the tip of a paintbrush to kind of make it look as if it was hammered or shaped that way, or to look like a piece of metal that was basically sculpted to look that way. Now I know you guys are getting awfully relaxed just watching this and can you imagine doing it yourself? It is so relaxing. To keep your clay or play-doh from drying out, store it in a Ziploc bag. Now don't freak out, the clay will also crack. You know we have a solution for that as well. Add a few drops of water to a small amount of clay in a bowl, form a paste, and rub that pasty clay into the cracks of your glasses. Yeah, it's time to get your fingers dirty. You can also use a paintbrush if you don't want to use your finger. Now you see why the kids would love this project? It's a chance to get their hands dirty. Now even though I'm making repairs, I'm being careful how I hold my sculpture. I'm also being mindful of the fact that I've done a sculpted technique or on it where it doesn't look so smooth. So I'm really flowing with the texture of the glasses that I created with the paintbrush. The sculptures made from the air dry clay weigh about one and a quarter pound. The ones made of Play-Doh, well, you guessed it. They're as light as a feather. The air dry clay will need about 24 to 48 hours to dry. But like I said, my office is awfully hot and it happened overnight. So I was really impressed with that. Check out the information box of this video. There is a supply list there for you. Well, I thought that I would show you how to use the paintbrush to fill in those cracks. For those of you who have nails and you don't really want to be that embedded in clay. Now Mod Podge, Fabric Stiffener, Elmer's Glue, those are all one and the same when it comes to doing a project like this. And remember to apply your glue or Mod Podge immediately after you've made your repairs to the cracks. Now let's talk paint. And this is the finishing touch to all of it guys. For the one made with Play-Doh, I decided to just use a simple metallic gold paint and this is called Glorious Gold. You can buy it at Hobby Lobby. Doesn't it look great? Really, really pretty. And of course, 40% off. This glorious gold color has a gold leaf look to it. I love it. I applied two or three coats because I wanted it to look really pretty and finished. Now painting a project with a paintbrush keeps it kid friendly. I just would not recommend using spray paint around children. Here is my silver metallic spray paint and of course rose gold. I think this one is my absolute favorite. I purchased several cans of this rose gold paint from Michaels about a month or so ago. It is discontinued guys. I think I purchased like four cans of it when she told me that. So. I haven't seen it since, so I hope that you guys can still find it out there. Isn't it beautiful? This paint stands up to its label. It is a quick dry paint. You can bet that I have a pair of glasses, reading glasses, somewhere all over the house. But these are different. 
their art. Place them on a table, place them on a bookshelf. No matter where you place them, they will add flair to your space. Isn't that gorgeous? That is like my favorite vignette of them all. You can stack them up one, two, or three. You can just have fun with this project. And again, it's kid friendly if you're using the paintbrush to paint on those acrylics. I hope you guys are inspired to create this simple project. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so today. And remember to turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, stay in prayer and stay creative.